Hello, I am Eli G. Brown slash Eli G. Brony, and welcome to my very first Thomas Wooden Railway review of 2015. And also, the first time that I'm actually doing it with an unboxing. Alright, so, right here we have the Thomas Wooden Railway introducing James. Now this is James in his original black coat of paint that was shown in The Adventure Begins, and it was also the color that he had in the Railway series when he was first introduced. And, well, there, there's not really much to the box, and there's also not much inside, so let's just open this up real quickly and actually take a look at this uh, character. As people know by now, they got rid of the Thomas cards, and they also got rid of those little paper things. They probably did that because it was, a, like, just a waste of paper, I guess. Okay, and here we have the original version of James. Well, the, what James looked like originally. Okay, so, what you notice in comparison to how we know James as of today, also a bit of, um, yeah. It's barely noticeable. In comparing James, as we know today, which, speaking of which, I just happen to have the current version of James right here. Okay, so, now, <laughs> another thing to also point out is that, well, this is actually an older model. Of James. I mean, it's fairly new. It's a lot newer than the original version of James that we knew from before. This is like the, uh, the 20,000s, uh, James. You know, like the, uh, like last decade's James. Like, like after, after the redesign of existing characters to Wooden Railway and prior to CGI. Okay, so, yeah, because they are different versions of James in different eras of the Wooden Railway Company, such as this version of James coming out during the Learning Curve era, and this one coming out during the uh, Fisher-Price era. Okay, now, I don't know if this was actually intentional, but something that I've also noticed um, in comparing these two versions of James is that... Red James here has three stripes on his boiler, but Origins James has only two. And also, on, on uh, today's version of James, as in how he looks now, he has these stripes both on the sides of Whatever this back part is supposed to be called, I'm sure that someone will give out a name. But there are no stripes on the top. But there are on Origins James. And also, though this is probably just uh, something that was done uh, like in the designing, is that there is actually a whistle visible on top of the black version of James, but not on the red version. Something else to also notice is that James has a gold dome, but when he was in his black coat of paint, his dome was not gold. It was black, just like the rest of him. Now, of course, James has always had the number five, though something that I had just noticed right now is that in his red coat of paint, the number, the lines around the number five, which is in yellow, are black, but on the black version of James, they were red. Possibly to make the number be shown a little bit better. Now the faces are, well, they are different, but not for, not for the reason that that was just how James originally looked, but that's because this version of James is from the uh, learning curve uh, era. And this version was the, uh, 
Well, this was from the Fisher Price era. I mean, they do work. The magnets work just the same as they always do, and they will always work. The old ones are compatible with the new ones, and they always will be. So I'm just going to take this James out of the picture. And this is a pretty good looking model uh, for collecting. Of course, um, what, what is kind of odd is, you know, the whole names where all the characters and rolling stock have names under them. What is odd is that at the bottom it says Origins James and Origins James's Tender. That's what the that's what the actual uh, train says, but on the box it's called Introducing James. Why did they decide to call the train something different from what the box calls it? I have no idea. All right, so that is about it for this review on. The Origins James from Thomas Wooden Railway. I thank you very much for watching. And I would recommend you pick this up at whatever store you are, uh, whatever store they may sell these at in your area. It's a pretty good model. Certainly a good addition to your Thomas Wooden Railway collection. So thank you, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.